the Browns, separated by only one game and staring at a critical matchup in the AFC North in front of a sellout crowd in Baltimore. Most people did not expect the AFC North to look this way halfway through. Unbelievable. Wade Ritchie kicking to Richard Alston. We are underway in Baltimore. Alston, a new acquisition who was with the team in training camp. Richie, the only one who could get him. Alston, 93 yards, touchdown, no flags. You know what? I'll tell you what's amazing, folks. Butch Davis came in. They said, we are going to activate. Jamal Lewis is the single setback. And Bowler throws on the run. Dion can't get there. Ended up in double coverage. Dalen McCutcheon, the corner, was the closest to him. Pressure coming. And Bowler throws complete. What a throw. And Kevin Johnson made the catch. He got care. hit in the head. Look at this catch. Personal foul. Roughing the passer. 96. It's quarterback in the Look at the Browns. They've got nine guys within five yards of the line of scrimmage. Lewis gets the toss. Student body left. Hit in the backfield and driven back. Stover is on for a field goal try. Four-man rush. Garcia throws underneath and completes to Aaron Shea. I said 7-0, and obviously it's 7-3. Blitz coming. No lane that time. Will Demps and Terrell Suggs just came rifling through. You treat him as one of the best players on defense. That's how you treat him. Well, Lee Suggs certainly didn't do a very good job of blocking him on that blitz. And this time, he's brought down by Ray Lewis. They show blitz and cover that loose football. And the Browns somehow got it back. Went to a small school. McNeese State was a free agent. Well, here he is as one of the premier kick returners in this league. Loose ball. You're also looking at Jamal Lewis when he's in the backfield. So you can go try and run a draw against an, an eight and nine man front? I don't think so. Not allowed anywhere near the complex. First and 15, Green trying to get outside. Ed Hartwell had him. Pressure coming on Garcia, deep down the middle to the goal line, incomplete. Knocked away by Baxter. 50 yard field goal coming. Chester Taylor is in running back on third and long. Bowler underneath to Lewis. Got a chance to get the first down. He'll be close. They've got a six-man front right now. They bring the blitz. And the pass completed underneath. Bowler three-step drop. And Dion hit him right in the stomach. Stick his nose in there. That time it's back in his face a little bit. <laughs> Bowler had it nothing, nothing, batted away. 39-yard field goal try. Stover has already hit from 44. Suggs is the running back. Garcia short set out in the flat to his tight end. Hyden. Suggs. Got a great block and a huge opening straight up the middle. Demps makes the tackle. Suggs again behind Terrell Smith, the fullback. Garcia flushed and just tried to get rid of it. Ray Lewis is not going to allow him to go anywhere. Make wholesale changes in the offense. Third and five, Bowler goes to the shotgun. Five-man rush. Throws underneath. There's a man-to-man coverage on the outside. Bowler drops it underneath to Lewis. 
a rare catch for him. Breaks a couple of tackles and is out near midfield. 69 yards. Lewis lowers his shoulder and then comes out of the pile. Chester Taylor in it running back on third and ten. Pressure coming. Bowler unloads underneath and complete. And as usual. Garcia throws underneath. Pressure on that toe and he can't. Susie had mentioned that they had a toe problem. And I don't think it's right. Four-man rush. The pass underneath. Garcia. I'm lost the ball. Still loose. Ravens have it. And there's a flag on the play also. Anthony Weaver's got it. Anthony Weaver has it. Adelis Thomas, the guy who knocked it loose. Not in field goal territory. So you have to get the first down or kick it away. Nice ball throw. over the middle and they've got it. Remains as the running back in this two-minute situation. Four-man rush against Bowler. Goes out in the flat. Has this one complete. And for the third time, Bowler goes deep and puts the ball out of bounds. Bowler will try to get the first down. He wasted seven seconds, eight seconds, nine seconds. Bowler gets out in the flat, has this one complete with three seconds to go. Stover's hit three, tries for a fourth, this one from 36. And has it. So on the strength of four Matt Stover field goals. Flaws in his defense, and he's passed for 40 yards. Now, I'll tell you what, if there's flaws in this defense. Well, that's a bad break for them because certainly he gives them an awful lot. Covering the uh, Chester Taylor is in on third and four. He's number 29, has it on the draw. Picks up three. I, did, I worked in, in, as a Gandy in the summertime. I thought so. Garcia. Down the middle to Hyden. And Hyden took his eye off the ball. Draw play. Green. Oh. Bowler. Good play action. Right down the middle to a wide open Taylor. Good football is good football. You have a lot of great runners, and I don't really talk about records uh, being the best or anything like that. Thanks, Jim. Great to see you. Thank you, Susie. To only 78 for the Cleveland Browns. Lee Suggs in at running back. Nice cutback by Suggs. Still only two yards. Garcia. Somehow got rid of it. I play the game angry. It's a really nice guy who has really had to fight for virtually every opportunity. Third and ten. <laughs> Bryant wanted a flag and is really upset, and there it comes. Look at this. Gary Baxter is allowed to have certain space. Wait a minute, he's not allowed to wrap his arms around it. And that's what he did. Pass interference, 28, defense. He wraps First his arms. Down. Suggs, nice job of cutting it outside. Suggs this time cuts to his left. First down and more. Garcia back this way has a chance to run and Jeff Garcia stays in bounds and dives inside the 15 yard line touchdown pass pretty good company Suggs boy and that ball's loose the Browns have it back Dawson from 29 he's already hit from 49 and Knox hung in there made all the throws the one guy that's really jumped out at me also is Plexico Burris Bill Dawson doing it for the other side as well. Here comes Jamal again. 
<laughs> midfield and more. No quarterback at right pick. hand. Bowler under pressure and down he goes. Boy, they sent they sent everybody and they came right up the middle. Beautiful kick. North Cup will let this one go again. No signal yet. The ball down at the one foot line. A safety, of course, gives Baltimore the lead. Second and eight, Green. Ray Lewis. Garcia, incomplete. Smart by Aaron Shea just to let it go. Waits at the Cleveland 45. And a shake. This one might be out of bounds at the eight yard line. See, he sees the rush coming. He really does. A seven yard kick. Third and goal. Jamal. Touchdown. I did that play call. Good call, Paul. Thank you very much. Good job. Thank you very much. Chester Taylor is the running back, so Jamal Lewis is not an option. There's the jump ball. There's the two points. Great call, Joseph. Out jumped Anthony Henry. I could have been talking to you. You made the same call. Ed Reed came on the blitz. Pressure coming on Garcia. Got away from Thomas and made the throw to Jackson. Blitz coming from Reed. Garcia trying to run he for it. it. Dives. Got the first down. Garcia taking off again. Throws on the run complete down to the 22. And look at this. Look at the move he makes. Manages to get the ball into his hands so he can throw it and then gets killed. The wide receivers. Bryant inside the 10 to the 5. Pretty good guy to throw a fade to. Instead, they'll give it to Suggs, and Suggs knocked down at the 5. The clock is running, 116. This is where they seem to get caught. It killed the Miami Dolphins earlier today. You don't want to have it happen if you're a Raven fan. Garcia. Ed Reed, interception. And Ed Reed takes it out of the end zone. One hundred and three yards. Holy cow. He was going to do the Dion Little Ray. He's too tired. <laughs> He's too tired to dance. I'll tell you, Jeff Garcia is living. Ray Lewis reaches out and grabs Steve Hyde, number 82. I don't care. He's got to make that catch. I mean, the this. Cleveland Browns will fall to three and five. The Baltimore Ravens will go to five and three. And as we said earlier, they're just starting to get healthy for that second half run. The final, Baltimore 27 to 13.